Okay, so we've seen some text, but what about images? The first step to getting images is to understand that all your sources need to be contained within one root folder. Now you can have subfolders within that folder, but here in this set the source footage folder field, you want to set that to be the root of where all of your sources exist. So here I've got this folder called albums and within that I've got subfolders and these just contain uh, image files that After Effects will import. So I'm going to go ahead and click open there and let's go ahead and look at our spreadsheet. You can see for the album-cover column I've got file names here and these are just references to those files that are in that source footage folder. So <clears throat> the next step is to essentially create a placeholder for those images to exist in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import placeholder. I'm going to call this album art. I'm not so much concerned about its duration or its size right at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it into the composition right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the templator settings effect to it. And for layout, I'm going to make sure that it's, you know, maybe 33% of the containing composition. So if I go to preview uses next row now, hit preview, you're gonna see that uh, this file is not updating precisely because the layer name is not named according to the column header here. So this column header is album-cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this layer name to album-cover. And if I hit preview now, you're gonna see all those files come into AE and drop right into that placeholder. Now if I look at the project, you can see that After Effects is importing all the new assets that it doesn't have for this project into that folder called Templator Imports. So it kind of keeps it nice and tidy. Okay, so that's essentially how you can get images mapped into your video template.